What's up everybody? Welcome to Behind the Stick. Caught us in the middle of everything today. Middle of the action. That's all right. That means we're warm. The weather's gotten warmer. Feeling good. Um, we're going through some trial prep with everybody. Everyone's getting ready for competitions. It's competition season. Beginning of the year. So we're going through some trial prep. Just working on the exercises that the dogs will see. Not every single dog is ready for full decoy, full pressure, things of that nature. However, we can still use food or toys to show them the picture of the exercises. We've been building the behaviors throughout the last year, the third and fourth quarter, where, you know, six to nine months down the road, although dog might not be fully, fully ready, in my opinion, we can still uh, support them through showing them the routines um, and linking all of the behaviors that we've been teaching them. What's up guys, Behind The Stick. Uh, we're about to play with um, Dog Evo in his trial preparation. Um, he's uh, been with me for probably six months or so. Um, hasn't truly, truly been focused on the competition and the exercises. However, we're getting closer to the competition. We're gonna start to link all these behaviors together into the full exercises. Um, we're gonna look at the positions in the position box. I use the position box for the muscle memory of the dog falling backward into a down because that's how I like it and tucking upward into a sit all right in French ring positions is a uh, exercise that we do where you distance yourself from the dog down the field and you give them a series of positions down stand sit and the dog has to uh, cycle through those positions uh, successfully without displacing themselves for every meter that the dog displaces itself uh, you lose some points. So uh, if you want your full points, the dog can't displace and has to go through all the positions. couple couches with like little little lure little to no lure but if jackpot that let him relax if he wants to experience this again we'll do it again Step two in his position, getting the touch in all the positions while he's still touching the item. Ass. Good. Push. Yes. What's up, what's up? Welcome to Behind the Stick. So um, I'm gonna take a second to talk about uh, the jump. I'm gonna do the jumps with, uh, again, the dog that I'm starting to prep for, for competition. The dog that I'm prepping is a natural athlete. He jumps incredibly, just off general purposes, off GP. He does it by himself. However, we're gonna work with the hurdle here. In the jump, dog has to 
take an outbound jump and then an inbound jump sort of back to the handler um, uh, jumping is truly motivational to the dog okay um, I've, I've seen people reward the dog for a jump uh, with the bike right I don't believe dogs truly need that because um, jumping is sort of a euphoric behavior for them in the first place and you can take your dog off the scale as far as them holding it together uh, for the jump. I believe the jump takes composure. I like to train my dogs at a very close distance to the jump to hop it, to take a one step vertical leap to hop it without touching it and I pay them on each side of it. Um, I like to do that at a sort of close distance so that I see that they're actually putting effort into the jump and that they're understanding the fact that they have to clear it cleanly to be rewarded before I move them back to their trial position. So right now I'm gonna play with Evo. It's probably his third time playing with the jump, but um, we're gonna see how it goes. So uh, what happened with Evo was we took off some bars to make it a manageable height. All, I mean, I know for a fact he can jump this off, off of a drop step. However, he doesn't understand the concept yet of not touching it. So um, we took off some bars, went pretty much as low as this jump goes. And in the beginning, he was touching the jump. He was stepping on the jump, using it as a catalyst to get himself back and forth. Every time he touched it, I would mark it no. However, through our system, no is just a negative marker that means try again. It doesn't mean you're, you're, you're getting punished in every scenario, right? Although the punishment to him was the withholding of reward. But I just mark it, no, negative marker. I ask for the behavior again on the other side. It gets really black and white. You jump it, you don't touch it, you get paid for it. You jump it, you touch it, you don't get paid for it, right? dogs learn very quickly in this um, in this sense so he used it as a catalyst in the beginning wasn't getting paid for it I'm perfectly fine with that because the dog learns just as much from not receiving the reward or hearing the word no than they will if everything was a yes so um, after a while he gave me a couple of successful jumps uh, in a row paid him for it we ended the session and so that's just the beginning Stay tuned and you'll see the rest as we develop <laughs> into the larger jump. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>